exactly what insurance is there for. It's there to deal with people who are insured and have been burnt out of their homes, burnt out of their businesses and so forth. It's absolutely there for that. It's very difficult at this stage to know how much it's all going to cost. It's clearly a big event. We're talking at least tens of millions of pounds. But at the moment, it's very difficult to get access. There are, there are crime scenes, there are dangerous buildings. So until our members have been able to go in, investigate what's going on, see how big the business interruption claims are likely to be, it's going to be difficult to put a figure on it. Now, you mentioned business interruption. That's for people who's, who may not have had their building burnt or, or their stuff stolen. But their trade clearly impacted by this, and many people will have been deterred from going out onto the streets because of what they've seen. Well, normal commercial properties will cover business interruption if your property is damaged. You can buy additional cover, which can cover you if, uh, in the situation you described, where your business is affected, though you're not physically affected. But the main concentration is going to be on the properties which are completely burnt out. We've seen plenty of pictures on our screens of massive damage, and that is what insurers will be concentrating on. Some pictures, we've seen open looting, and there's been some suggestion that, that perhaps the police weren't there in the numbers or, or, or being robust enough in their policing. Given the fact that your members are going to have to foot the bill, do you have a view on that? We don't take any view on the policing. It's obviously a hugely difficult situation. These people are moving around very fast, and I've every sympathy with the difficulties the police face. Our members are not concentrating on blame or anything at the moment. What they want to do is to help their customers quickly, and the advice is to get in touch with your insurer or your broker as quickly as you can. So as soon as you can do that, the quicker they can help uh, make emergency payments, uh, do emergency repairs and so forth. And of course, business, uh, business insurance is one thing. Some people will have had their motor vehicles, their homes uh, affected by this. Now, uh, in a situation like this where you have civil unrest and people's personal property, perhaps say the car, for example, is damaged, are they fully covered under a normal policy? If you have comprehensive car insurance or third-party fire and theft uh, car insurance, then that your car is covered. Uh, property insurance will cover this situation as well. And if you're completely burnt out, if you can't mm -hmm. use your property, can't live in there, it will cover alternative accommodation. And anything either retailers or business people or indeed uh, private individuals and residents can do to protect themselves, to make it easier to deal with your industry? Well, take advice from the police clearly about uh, the risk to them. Insurers can't advise on the risk, and we've seen that the, these, these riots are breaking out uh, all over the place. But uh, uh, and it's not like a flood where you can predict it's going to happen in the same, the same sort of way. But if you are affected in any sort of way, um, contact your insurer. They'll be able to help you. Next.